Hi. It's Tara. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. How's the baby's movements? She's moving a lot. That's always a good sign, right? Oh, yeah. It's not just about delivering a baby. Can I get you anything else? Okay. I'll see you later. You know how to get me, right, with the call bell? Yeah, thank you. Okay. This is a unit that takes care of women who are pregnant from any gestation and, to the best of my ability, have them take home a happy, healthy little baby. Makes me feel good. Delivery services have been offered at Melrose Wakefield Hospital ever since the inception of the hospital in 1893. Moms keep coming back because of all the great services that we provide and they just feel like they're able to stay home, stay in their community and get good quality care. This is where their families are born and this is where their families begin. So that then when they come back to have their second child and their third child, they're seeing the same nurses again. That's meaningful for them. The renovations now have really brought it to another level because not only are the rooms comfortable and give you that spa-like or boutique hotel feel, but it also has all of the equipment in the room readily available but hidden from sight. So the feedback has been excellent. Of course, the patients who have delivered babies here before, now coming to have another baby here in this space are sometimes wowed, I think is the right word. Having which baby, number one? Three. Number three, yeah. number three, that's awesome. What do you have at home? I have a boy and a girl already, having another boy. And you did you have those babies here? Yeah. So, but not in the new unit? No. The millennials are starting to have their children. Their desires to really deliver in a place where they feel comfortable, where they feel safe, where they know they're gonna get the good care, but it doesn't feel like such a hospital setting. So that's why a labor and delivery unit can give you that safety and yet still provide you with a comfortable environment where you feel like you're just delivering a baby, a very natural process. That transitions the hardest. Once you get beyond and you're into that active phase of labor, that's when it really starts to go. Things start to move fast. Everything's been evolving, whether it's been specialized operating rooms in order to perform cesarean sections, or even if it's now doing VBACs again, or even offering different ways that we can even help moms with their pain management during labor and delivery. We have a special care nursery that's a level two, which allows us to provide care for babies born prematurely. Could be a baby who's struggling after delivery, could be a baby who's struggling to transition to life outside. It's a team of nurses who work hand in hand with the neonatology team from Tufts Medical Center. Using their specialized newborn physicians, their neonatologists, has been something this hospital has treasured for many years. And being baby friendly has made a great difference to all of the services in maternity because we all focus on how to keep that baby the healthiest. The people who live in Melrose have had their babies here and now their babies have babies here. And so we see that from time to time, the generation, the crossing of generations. I have a nine-year-old boy and I chose to deliver right here. I was well taken care of, which I never doubted. Is this your first baby? Yeah. Oh, it is. Nice, nice. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. Does she have a name? Are we telling anybody or no? <laughs> Some people don't like to say. <laughs> no, her name is Valentina. Oh, that's so nice. Patients have told me that they feel like it's more personal here than a bigger, maybe city hospital, like a family atmosphere. And I feel that way as a staff member.